works. So there's three stages in this process. There is acquisition, there is restoration, there's operations. I'm hoping somebody is watching this today. I'm hoping we have an electrician or someone who knows an electrician. I'm hoping we have a carpenter or someone who knows a carpenter. I'm hoping we have a licensed plumber or someone who knows a plumber. I'm hoping we have a roofer or someone who knows a roofer. I hope we have a painter or someone who knows a painter who's watching this and they're going to say, hit up Dr. Umar and tell him that you are a licensed plumber. Tell him you are a licensed electrician. Tell him you are a licensed carpenter. Tell him you are a licensed painter. Tell him you are a licensed roofer and that you're gonna come and fix the roof for free as long as he paid for the materials. Tell Dr. Umar you're gonna come and rewire the whole school. He just gotta pay for the material. Tell Dr. Umar you're gonna come and do the whole plumbing system. You're gonna fix anything wrong with the plumbing system. He just gotta pay. For the material. I'm hoping HVAC. I need HVAC. I need HVAC. I'm hoping somebody with HVAC will text me and say, Doc, I live in Philly. I live in Chester. I live in Delaware. I live in Maryland. I live in New York. I live in Connecticut, brother. I'm licensed. I will come down there and do your HVAC work. When can we get in the building, Doc? On February 28th, 2020, I received the following email message. Brother, I wanted to send you an email about my recent experience contacting Dr. Umar. Now, before posting this information on your YouTube, I'm asking you to give him one week from today. I'm a plumber in... I work for a very reputable company. I decided to reach out to Dr. Umar via email. I can send you the conversation. I have a lot of HVAC friends and co-workers besides myself who are willing to go down to Delaware and get his plumbing and HVAC together at no charge. He just needs to buy the materials and get a local master plumber in HVAC tech to pull the permits and draw the isometrics prints. Umar asked when I could come to Delaware and I said for the most part any time, but he has to secure the permits and materials. I have not heard back from him. I believe it's a scam. I'm willing to volunteer one week of my time with other licensed tradesmen to help him, and I don't think he is for real about opening a school. What do you think, bro? I responded saying, Hello, brother. Please send me the conversation that you had with Umar when you can. I will tell you that there are plenty of professionals who have tried to help Umar. One brother offered to create the FDMG website for free. Umar ignored him. This was years ago, and Umar still does not have an FDMG website. The plumber then sent me the email conversation that he had with Umar Johnson. Dr. Johnson, I'm a plumber that lives in... I'm not telling how to run your school or business, but I've watched a few of your videos and I have an idea. You need a massive call to trades. The company I work for pays us 36 hours a year to volunteer our services. I would be more than happy to help you with the plumbing at your school. Second, I myself have thought about starting a plumbing school. Whenever you come back to We Can Build, this is my email, is my number. I know a lot of HVAC guys, obviously. However, you have to find a master in Delaware to pull the permits. Umar Johnson responded, I'm here today, brother. When can you come to Delaware and take a look? The plumber replied, Wow, I really had no idea you were here. I can come to Delaware whenever for the most part. But here is the thing. Have been building my whole life for the most part. I know how it goes. Time is everything. If you can get a bro to draw up the isometrics of the buildings and get the materials, me and a couple of plumbers from here and call a few more to the cause, we can do it in a week. I have 36 hours volunteer time, 40 hours vacation time, and weekends after that. So the sooner you can get the drawings, I can bust a move down there. If I have to do the drawings, I would come on a weekend and then go back after the materials are in place. I get off at 6 p.m. today and live in... Umar Johnson did not reply, and the plumber sent another message to Umar. So I spoke to the company I work for about taking time off and a few HVAC guys. Do you have a property manager to let us in, or will you schedule us to come out in between cities on your tour? Let me know. I'm so tired of people talk mess about a bro who has a dream instead of trying to help you however they can. That's what's wrong with us now. We can't stand behind a bro or sis and help them not hurt them. 
it takes all types. On March 6, 2020, I sent the following email to the plumber. Did Umar Johnson ever contact you to make arrangements for you to go down to Delaware and look at the buildings? The following day, the plumber replied, no call, no email, no nothing. The plumber then sent another email stating, I'm so disappointed. I did want to believe, but he is a fraud. It's not my responsibility to call him and beg him to work on his dream for free. I offered because I wanted to help. That's like me telling you a crew of HVAC install techs and a couple of plumbers will redo your home for free, but buy the materials and get someone to pull the permits. I spent the last week looking over Delaware's plumbing code because each state is a little different. This is the company I work for. It's not a fly-by-night company. It's official. I'm one of the few brothers who work there. But people have to know. You should do a show telling people about the brothers and sisters who offer to help Umar, and he doesn't take the help, but takes money. So here we have a plumber who was willing to work for Umar Johnson for free. The plumber was willing to recruit a team of plumbers and HVAC specialists who would all work for free. Did Umar Johnson accept the help? Did Umar Johnson coordinate with the plumber so that renovations on the abandoned buildings in Wilmington, Delaware could begin? No, he did not. If Umar Johnson was serious about opening a school, he would have accepted the help, coordinated with the plumber, and scheduled renovations on the abandoned buildings in Wilmington, Delaware. Despite being offered free plumbing and HVAC services, Umar Johnson has denied the help while continuing to collect donations for renovations. Despite collecting over a million dollars in donations for a non-existent school and without gainful employment, Umar Johnson has become nothing more than a homeless cyber